Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new logo design tutorial and today I'll show you this type of F logo design how to make this one let's see so let's start the tutorial if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon at first we'll go to the line segment tool and we'll draw the line by pressing shift and hold it and it will help you out to make the logo properly so press alter option button before that you have to give the stroke and stroke thickness 1 pt is good and then press alter option button it will make copy and press ctrl or command d for the repetition we'll draw 5 6 or 7 line 6 is good that's good ctrl c and ctrl f we'll rotate this one by press and hold the shift and just rotate this one making it group will make this one middle of the artwork that's good and now we'll ungroup this one ctrl shift alter g or ctrl shift g that's good and now we'll go to the pen tool so p for the pen tool and then we'll draw we'll make the f logo how to make the f logo we'll draw this one from here press the shift and hold it and then here the f will be like this and then going to this this here over there okay that's good we'll remove this line and this line we got the f now we'll increase the thickness of this we'll make it like a little bit of like that that's good and now we'll fix it up like that okay that's good and going to the uh, and now we'll make this round a from the keyboard select this pointer making this round like this round like this and we'll make the round like this that's good now we'll decrease if we need to change the thickness we'll decrease the thickness like this that's good and now going to the object and expand and then hit ok that's good and now i from the color picker select the color like this so we got the color now we'll draw the rectangle over there so we'll draw the rectangle like this okay that's fine and making this one a little bit of bigger okay match with that actually and after that we'll make this one the here is the color gradient making this one zero degree and making this one like black and ash or white that's good and opposite will be zero and here it will be 90 degree you can make it minus 90 and now going to the blending options and making this one multiply that's good it will create a shadow over there and now here another shadow so we'll make copy by pressing alter option button here and then we'll make copy and rotate this one after rotating that we'll make this one in this point so we got the uh, deep shadow if you want to get the deep shadow uh, more lighter you can make the opacity a little bit up down 50% that's good so we got this and now here a from the keyboard and we'll make this one like that that's good and making it group and now we'll take the circle how to make the circle here and then making this one stroke stroke thickness should be a little bit up like this object expand and hit ok that's fine and now we'll make this one middle of the artboard that's great this one at first middle of the artboard and this one middle of the artboard okay or you can make this one manually middle of this it will help you out we'll making it a little bit smaller like this and the black color will draw the rectangle over there and then right press and going to the here to the arrange and send it to the back that's good now time to change the color swatch so going to the gradient and making this one 90 that's fine 
this gradient should be 90 as well that's it and this logo this text and the, this text control command v and place over there make them to proper alignment that's fine and make them into the group and making this one like that so we got the same logo like that you can make variations or the color swatch suppose we want to make the another color swatch or option how to do that so select this one change the color swatch so going to the red type version so another pole should be like that okay and this one i from the color picker and over there so you are getting this one and this one two version you can make many versions from this type of uh, logo and you can make this one easily you can give the thickness you can give the uh, like lightness totally up to you it's uh, your creativity and you can make lots of uh, methods and other stuffs so if you want to save this one into the png format right press and export selections and you can making this one f logo that's good and making this one export and we got the export and right press and export the selections if logo two and then export this one that's fine and now you can make this one mock-up so actually sketch mock-up i have lots of sketch mock-up so you can do the sketch mock-up as well so opening up the sketch type mock-up it will open up in a psd so psd is a photoshop files and you can make the presentation more like uh, realistic so your work over there and now i'm going to here and i'll make another version which is really like that and in this case we'll just copy this one Control c that means the full logo will copy this one and going to the photoshop and going to the paste options and making this one smaller and control command s and you got this one into this and now going to the file and going to the like uh, save as options from here or save copy edges and then jpeg format and you can save this one in your directory and hit ok so you got your desired logo you can uh, represent this one you can just um, provide this one in your portfolio and you can provide or post in your like social media uh, or anywhere so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any sort of questions query request please do comment in my video comment section until the next video is i'm signing out today i have lots of um, like courses and like logo ideas and tutorials i'll provide the link in the video description please check it out and stay safe stay healthy keep me in your prayers and bye bye